Hello children, this is Oshini from Jinta.com. I'm actually quite happy to share some good news with you. In this year's Indian National Math Olympiad, which is the highest level of Math Olympiad in India, only 78 students qualified from all over the country. 78 out of lakhs of students who started with the first level in IOQM. If you do not know this, then there are three levels of Math Olympiads in India. IOQM, first level, RMO, second level, and INMO, the National Math Olympiad, which is the third level. Now, out of those lakhs of students who actually participated and started the journey with IOQM, the first level, only 78 qualified to the final level, which is INMO, awardee level. And out of those 78 students, 7 were current students of Chanta. You can see their pictures and names in the screen. And 3 were ex-students of Chanta. So 10 students out of 78 kids are actually related to Chanta. Either they're current students or ex-students. This is our best performance since our inception in the year 2010. And I feel extremely proud of the students and the faculty team. Uh, in fact, I want to specially mention a few kids who did not qualify for INMO. But I personally know and the faculty members know how capable mathematicians they are. So in this particular video, I want to share with you some of the learning strategies that we use at Chinta that you can use to do really well in mathematics, physics, or computer science. These are the Olympiad programs that we have. Moreover, there is also a success meetup video that we have, we are, that's coming up where the INMO awardees actually talk to our existing students and they answer the questions about preparation and everything. So you should also watch that other video, which is coming up very soon. But I want to sum it up in a shorter video. And I also wanted to talk to the community about this because I feel so happy about it. Uh, once in a while, I find these happy news that really excites me. I remember I was this happy last time when I, I was... Um, defending my doctoral thesis in Milwaukee and uh, when the when the board said that okay it's accepted uh, I, I feel felt ecstatic and um, this is a similar news that makes me really really happy you can imagine that 10 out of 78 I mean I don't I, I never want to boast about this but I think this is a very remarkable result and we worked so hard uh, if you are an existing student of Chinda you know that there are two plus five seven sessions every week two of them are compulsory five of them are problem solving sessions and this is the first thing I wanted to share with you that all of these students who succeeded in INMO or even in the previous levels, IOQM or RMO, they worked every day with the faculty team. And that's the most important part. That's the sort of the key to the success story. And I'm saying this over and over again. This is for ISI CMI entrances. It's for physics Olympiads like NSAP, F equals to MA or whatever it is you're trying is for computer science olympiads like ZIO, ZCO and so on. Attend all the classes, especially in mathematics. There are six to seven classes every week. You should definitely attend that. The second thing is peer discussion. So some of these kids were actually involved in discussing problems with their friends. Some of them are actually involved in math circle program where you are able to teach other kids so that's a very important component of the preparation that you whatever you have learned then you spread that knowledge to other people and when you teach someone else 
your ability to think about the topic magnifies several fold. This has been proved in several experiments related to pedagogy. This is a very unique thing that we do at Chanda. Apart from giving the classes, we actually ask the students to go and teach other kids from rural India, from their peers inside Chanda and so on. Third thing that's also superbly important, and this is becoming more important by the day, is the value system, the culture. You have to value intellectual exercise. Some kids and parents are get very uh, impatient if they're unable to understand a problem or unable to understand a concept. Don't be impatient. Give time to the subject. Attend the classes. Even if you don't understand some parts of it, attend the classes. Ask your friends. Ask your peers. Think about the problem. Sometimes a problem may take weeks to solve. You have to put in the time. It's not about the math Olympiad. It's not about in more any competition. So for that matter, what's what's important is whether you have learned something really valuable. That's very important. One of the things that makes me really proud about this entire process is some of the faculty members who were teaching the IOQM or RM or INMO group, they are actually students of, they were students of Chinta. They studied at Chinta maybe two, three, five years ago, and then they came back as teachers. This is a like a Gurukul system that we are trying to build. One last thing I want to comment here is about the books. Now, it's it can become very confusing if you have access to internet, if you have access to 10,000 books. And you, 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 some, some students find it very difficult. I mean, maybe this they go to this book, they go to that book, they go to this website. It is confusing. I realize it. I'll tell you one thing that I have observed over the last 14 years. C complete one book cover to cover before going to any other go book. Whatever book you choose that will have its advantages and disadvantages. Don't worry too much about it. For example, we suggest Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics at the IOQM level. That's a first book. It's only one book. There are many more books. For example, in combinatorics, you have principles and techniques in combinatorics. In geometry, you have geometric transformations by Yaglong. In uh, number theory, you have uh, Burton's book to get started with. And then we have Tito Andrescu's book to go to the next level. In algebra, similarly, we have books on by D2 Andrescu. We have books by um, Gelfund at the very basic level. But if you go to all of these books, you will get confused and you will not gain any expertise. So the trick is you focus your energy on only one book. Forget, shut down your computer. Don't go to this website, that solution, that YouTube. Don't do that. While you are studying, at least don't do that. Shut down your computer for two hours, a block of two hours in a day. Get a piece of paper, get a pen, and then start solving problems from that one book. Complete that one book from cover to cover. Only then give yourself the choice of going to other books. There are very nice resources out there. Uh, many people have worked on these problems before. They have created some amazing books and pamphlets and so on. But trust me, this strategy is superbly important. Focus on one book. I hope this video has been useful for you. And please look out for the other video where the students are coming and they're talking about their own experiences. Uh, if you are interested in Math Olympiad, Physics Olympiad, Computer Science Olympiad, if you're really interested to learn great mathematical science, then you will find Chenda courses just the right thing. I think we are doing, our team is doing phenomenal job um, 
10 out of 78. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> it makes me immensely happy and I'm immensely proud of the faculty and the student team. All the best to the viewers and all of the students who are there. Again, those who did not get into Enmo, many of them are fantastic mathematicians. To Congratulations to you as well. Even though you did not get into that so-called Olympiad, we as faculty members know how good you are and we appreciate that and you will make something great out of that in the long run. I have seen it happen over and over again. So don't worry if you just did not get through it more. It's totally fine. You know mathematics. You have taken time to learn it. That counts. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. It was amazing to talk to you. I'll see you in the next video. Keep on doing good problems. Okay. Take care. Bye.